I'm not scared of commitment. I'm scared of STDs. <laughs> Ada and I currently look like a dead rat because I took a shower and I look like I'm balding also It's currently 1138 as you can see from the clock back there and I am getting ready for my first date I am getting ready for my first date like ever like first date ever 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 I'm 19 years old and I've never been on a date before I never had a boyfriend I am like the most prudest person ever so uh <laughs> I actually did gain a lot of weight, but like I'm hoping that with makeup I can make myself look slimmer So like let's cross our fingers. Yeah, the makeup didn't help me look skinnier at all Actually, I'm not gonna expose myself But like just know that I have not done a lot of things in the boy world I should probably start doing my makeup since I only have about like an hour to finish first We're gonna use this elf also. I'm not a beauty girl. So don't freaking judge me how I put makeup on you guys probably don't even want to watch this video I'm probably gonna get like five views, but like hey those five views you guys are real ones Oh, I frick. I forgot. Okay, so now I'm putting the shape. This whole thing started off like two weeks ago. I don't know. Should I tell you guys the story of how I met the guy? Okay, I'm gonna tell you guys. I'm probably not gonna tell him that I have a YouTube channel. If I do, like, um, I look ugly without makeup. So let's start from the very beginning. I was watching this video, 18 year old downloads Bumble for the first time. So I was like, maybe I should download Bumble. So what I did was download Bumble. And after I downloaded Bumble, I hesitated a lot. As you guys can see, I usually don't have guys in my vlogs. You know why? Because I'm a little piece of shit. Like, I'm shy. I'm using my Modern Renaissance palette in the color um, Raw Sienna. Don't freaking ask me what I'm doing because I have no idea. On um, Bumble, it's like very different than Tinder. Like, I didn't want to download Tinder for that and for like a reason that it was a hookup app. Um, your girl can barely talk to guys. And that's one of the reasons why I hate Bumble because the girl has to message first. And guess what I am? I'm a girl. I was swiping. I was super picky. I had my little filters on. I made sure that they were in college, that they didn't smoke cigarettes because smoking cigarettes is ugly. It's like... Mm. And then I made sure that they were not a Gemini because Geminis are little bitches. So I'm sorry, Anna. I swiped and I would talk to guys. I left a lot of guys undelivered because every time I saw it, we were having a nice chat, I would just like not message back because I am a stupid person. Why I download Bumble and then like leave guys on red, I don't know. Maybe we'll find that out in the next episode of Dr. Phil. Coming up. Let's do it. Also, um, I'm just doing a brown neutral look. It looks ugly from like the camera, but like I swear once I put my eyeliner on, it's over for all you girls. So that there was this guy that I swiped right on and um, I saw his pictures when we matched. So that guy had um, a family picture with someone that I recognized and that someone was my coworker. And honestly, I started freaking out because that's just weird in general. I like, texted some of my um, friends and I was like, is that her brother? Because this is so freaking weird. And she was like, yeah, that is. And I was like, F me in the ass. Wow, I downloaded Bumble and this is what f happens. But basically, we messaged for about two days and then I said goodnight, he said goodnight, and then like I never messaged back. According to one of my coworkers, not the sibling, um, she said that I was supposed to message back because I was the one that said goodnight, but that doesn't make sense to me. So um, I didn't message back. <laughs> the last time we like talked and I left him like on red was last Friday. We've been like a week without talking at all. Like there was nothing going on whatsoever. I just kind of forgot about it. So yesterday she decided to tell me that she wants to see the chat that we had. I was like, yeah, fine. And I unlocked my phone and all of a sudden um, she's asking him out on a date. I kind of knew she was going to do that, but I was kind of like, you know, it was that feeling when you let someone do something because you low-key want it, but then you low-key don't, but then you low-key want it. So you're just like, fuck it. I kind of knew she was going to do it already. I don't know why my forehead looks so big on camera, but like normal size on my mirror. She basically set me up on a freaking blind date and now we're here. I feel like that would be so awkward for him because like I haven't talked to him in a whole week and all of a sudden I'm just like, hey, let's go on a date. We're going to a sushi place. I've never been there. So I'm like really freaking out. Like I don't know what to order. Like I don't know how dates work. Let me tell you guys why I'm scared of like relationship. Not even about the commitment part. Like I'm not scared of commitment. I'm scared of STDs. And you're like, Ada, that's not relationship. That, that is. Like saliva or herpes like that's just mouth it doesn't even have to be sexual at all it's just like mouth you guys don't know this but my mom used to be a nurse back in the day so i was raised 
with a lot of information about STDs. When I was around like 11 or 10 years old, my mom would give me the talk, you know, the birds and the bee talk. It really wouldn't be the birds and the bees. It would be, if you do the birds and the bees, this might happen. And that honestly traumatized me for life. And I was like, yeah, I'm not, mm, 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 mm. I feel like I'm gonna ruin this day by either talking way too much or not talking at all. But with my luck, I'm probably gonna get like, ghosted. Imagine if I get stood up, that'd be exciting. That would be a vlog. That would be some content right there. Okay, are you guys ever like in the shower or like washing dishes or something and then you're like, what if the dead girl is behind me? And then you freak yourself out and then like you start panicking. That's the same feeling I have right now. Not that the dead girl is behind me. I hope not. But like that about the date, like I'm scared. Honestly, I'm like freaking out a lot. I don't think this is normal. I'm like freaking out like a lot, a lot. Oh, oh. <laughs> um, I don't know what I'm wearing yet. I'm probably not gonna even show you guys because I'm like gonna about to pee myself. <laughs> if this video doesn't even go up, that means I probably um got murdered or died of food poisoning. So I'm gonna go change. I forgot to tell you guys before I leave. Okay, so I have this fan page and she made this edit of me. This is the first edit, like video edit that I've ever gotten in my life. But yeah, go follow Ada's vlogs fan page. She is amazing. She's the sweetest person ever. Bye. <laughs> Bye. I don't want to go. Update. It's been like three days past a day. Um, I didn't get stood up. I thought it went well. I didn't. I got ghosted. So, um, peace. Thank you guys for watching. Please comment, like, and subscribe. Um, peace. I'm feeling it's a stuck in 66